It took me 4 months to go from 0 subscribers to 1000 and now another 4 months later I reached 5000. Today I wanted to record a video for you to explain my story of how I got monetized and the strategy and thought process that went into reaching this goal. Now the important thing I want you to know is that YouTube is a grind. You need to understand that, but the grind is fun, it's rewarding and unlike what most people online are saying, YouTube is not stopping you from growing. It's actually the perfect platform to grow on. Something you hear a lot is people saying that YouTube used to be easy and now it's saturated and blah blah and well, I disagree to an extent. Yes, there were far less creators back in the day and the quality you need right now to have a chance is insane compared to what you needed back in the day. But mostly that's just because technology has advanced and people have better access to good cameras and more resources to learn editing etc. I made a lot of YouTube channels in the past. I did put in a lot of work but unless I made tutorials on how to illegally download a popular game or some expensive software, the views I was getting were negligible. So I don't really believe that it was easier back then. If you didn't have a clue what you were doing, you didn't get any views. That was the same back then as it is right now. If you take the time to actually educate yourself on being a YouTuber and you're actively trying to improve, I think you have a bigger chance right now than you had like 6 years ago. Right now the algorithm is really good at recognizing quality content, which I will come back to, and there is so much information available online that allows you to learn the YouTube game and have an edge over someone else. However, because this information is available for everyone, you need to use it because you won't be able to compete against people who are using all the information and YouTube strategies that people are teaching online. And now you might say, hey, if everyone is using these strategies, strategies then they aren't giving me an edge, it's just leveling the playing field and well a big majority of the people who are trying to grow on YouTube are way too lazy to actually educate themselves on it. So if you do it you will have a big head start. Now YouTube is a lot different in terms of getting discovered to for example Twitch. My channel is mostly about growing an online presence as a gamer and Twitch is a big player in the online gaming world, but the platform is terrible in terms of discovery. Streamers on Twitch are simply ranking according to their concurrent viewer count. Big streamers get bigger and small streamers, well, disappear on the bottom of the list and have almost no chance on growing. And that's why I'm advising everyone who's trying to grow on Twitch to actually build an audience somewhere else and then bring that audience to Twitch. And one of the best platforms for that initial growth is YouTube. Let me get a coffee real quick. So why is YouTube one of the best platforms to build your audience from the ground up? Well, it's amazing for discovery. I have a separate video on the YouTube algorithm, so you can check it out, but I will give you a quick and clear explanation of why you can actually rank on YouTube as a small creator. So you're working on a video and you're trying to implement all the little tips and tricks you learned online and you're ready to publish. If you haven't done it already, you do your keyword research with Tubity, which I will link below and talk about in this video later, and you come up with a good keyword phrase to target. Now what happens when you upload your video? YouTube will test it to see how it's performing. Most of the time the algorithm will give your video some impressions by making it rank on the first page for your chosen keyword. Then the algorithm will check how your video is performing. Did your thumbnail get clicked? If it did, how long were people watching? Did they leave after 30 seconds? Well, that's bad. Did they stay for 4 or 5 minutes? That's amazing. Did they leave the platform after watching your video or did your video inspire them to watch 5 more of your other videos afterwards? That's also a big and important factor. If your video was performing well during this little test period, then the algorithm will push your video to more people. It will show up in more search results, maybe get some impressions as a recommended video, and like that, the testing continues. This is all because YouTube tries to keep people on the platform for as long as possible to make sure that they are watching as much advertising as possible. 
and this constant performance checking that YouTube is doing to videos that are on the platform is the reason that some channels are popping off on their first or second video. They know exactly what they are doing and they know how to please the algorithm. And this brings me to the single best strategy I use to grow my channel. And I strongly believe that this is the reason why I was able to build a strong foundation for my channel and then make it snowball from there. Here it comes. Make content in groups and use playlists. Look, I was making some videos as you see right here on the graph, but they didn't really start anything. They got some views and they didn't die, but they also didn't start any particular growth on my channel. Until I thought of something, I wanted people to do more than just stumbling upon of one of my videos and watching a few minutes before leaving. I wanted them to become engaged in my content, so because of that I created the Streamlabs OBS Master Course, which is a playlist that I'm still updating and expanding today. It's a playlist that explains everything a streamer needs to know when using the Streamlabs OBS program. In every video I was saying, welcome to the Streamlabs OBS master course. In today's video we are going to... And because of this, people immediately know that there was more than this, that the content was well thought out. This made them watch longer, plus it brought them to other videos in my playlist. Some people react that they are watching the whole playlist, and because of this, all my individual videos in the playlist are starting to rank better and better, because they are all sending people back and forth and keeping them on the platform while generating more watch time for my channel. So before creating the first video in that playlist, I already had a list of 10 video subjects I wanted to talk about. What did all that planning accomplish? Well, from the first video on, I was linking people to everywhere. I didn't need to wait like 6 or 7 videos before I could refer people to video 1 or 3 because it resonated with the content. No, I immediately know which videos I was going to link together and I could immediately just say, hey, I will link it in the cards, even if it wasn't finished yet because I knew I would be creating it like 2 weeks from then. I'm then promoting that playlist in all my videos by putting a link on top of my description that links people to the Streamlabs OBS Master Course playlist and it gets clicked 3000 times each month already and that brings in a lot of views because people get into the playlist and they start watching all the helpful videos. And by the way, while we are talking about placing links, don't waste your time on promoting your first video all over the place. Just create more videos, focus on improving and then maybe after 10 videos you can start to try and get some people in. I'm telling you to wait till after you have more videos because then promoting one out of the 10 videos on your channel or in your playlist will result in more watch time than if you only had one video on your channel and you were promoting it everywhere. In general it's important to not rush anything when trying to grow your YouTube channel. And this also counts for getting monetized in particular. It's not about rushing to 1k subscribers or to 4000 hours of watch time because getting those 4000 hours of watch time is not easy and the only way you will get there is if you keep improving your videos. Every next video should be a little different and a little better than the previous one. I'm trying stuff all the time in my videos. Right now I'm testing a big thing. You Usually I'm recording my script in one take in my studio and for this video I'm trying to switch the scene every now and then to see if it will give me more watch time or not. So keep improving your videos and eventually you will get that 4000 hours of watch time and it will only get better after that. And by the way you do not need to be monetized to start earning money on your channel since that's a big goal for most people I see. Since the beginning I'm earning more each month with affiliate marketing compared to my Google AdSense earnings. You should look for affiliate products that your viewers will be interested in and then try to talk about those products in your videos. Another way is listing useful links in your description. For example, all my viewers are streamers so I have a link in my description for people who want to buy streaming graphics. When they buy, I get 30% of the sale. 
And you can start doing that from the beginning, but really try not to be a sellout. It's perfectly okay to promote products to your viewers because everyone who is earning money on YouTube is doing it. But weave it into your content and only promote products that will actually benefit your viewers and are within their interests. Now, if you're investing so much time in making a good video, I'm sure you wanted to have the best chance at getting views, right? And this is where the keyword research comes in and it's extremely important, especially when starting out. For bigger channels, this doesn't matter that much. YouTube knows the channel's audience and the algorithm will push their videos to the right people. When those people are enjoying the video, it will start snowballing from there and it will be pushed to more and more people. But as a beginning creator, you will need to help the algorithm with understanding where to show your video, with understanding what your video is about. And easily the biggest reason I'm growing pretty fast is because I'm using TubeBuddy. I will link it in the description so you can check it out, but basically what it is, is a tool for YouTubers that does a lot of things for you. I can't outline them all right now, but there are three features that really make me grow significantly faster. And the most useful one out of the three is the Keyword Explorer, which I was just talking about, it's keyword research and it's free to use. It allows you to find video titles that are actually being typed in the search bar by people, but are not that competitive. I have a tutorial on that and I will link it in the cards so you can check it out and learn everything about keyword research because it's really important. And now the second feature is the bulk find and replace tool and it allows you to replace some text in all your video descriptions all at once just in a few clicks. My most popular video is my Streamlabs OBS tutorial for 2019 and I'm currently making a 2020 version and when it's finished I will replace all the links that are pointing to that 2019 version and I will replace them with the link to my 2020 version and I will be able to do that all in a few clicks and long term this will save you a lot of time and even the biggest reason why it's so good is that sometimes you will know that replacing a certain link in all your descriptions would be good for your channel but you really don't feel like replacing a link in 50 of your videos this is where the bulk find and replace tool comes in you just say okay i'm going to do it you go to the tool you replace the link you select all your videos you hit replace and boom all your videos are being updated and the link will be replaced in all the videos. It's really that simple. The third feature is also amazing and not because it's a quality of life feature, but because it's one that will straight up give you more views. It's the AB testing feature of TubeBuddy and sadly it only comes with the legend subscription, but if you're serious about YouTube and you're starting to grow, I really believe that it's worth the investment. But that's up to you. Let me explain you what it does. What the A-B testing is doing for you is testing two thumbnails against each other. So click-through rate is very important these days and finding a better thumbnail will get you more clicks, which then will result in more views, which will make your video rank higher and then it will get even more views. So it's just a snowball effect. You just have to select one of your videos in TubeBuddy and then upload a second thumbnail. Then TubeBuddy will switch between these thumbnails every day and after one or two weeks you will have a clear overview of the performance of both thumbnails. And this allowed my Spotify tutorial to go from 400 views a day to 700 views a day just by finding a better thumbnail. Imagine the power of doing this for all your videos. I'm testing stuff all the time, finding better thumbnails. Sometimes the second thumbnail I'm uploading performs worse than the original thumbnail so then I just don't change it and I make another version of a thumbnail and I keep testing them to keep finding thumbnails that get me more clicks and that's a really powerful way to get more views in the long run and grow your channel faster. Now I know that I'm promoting TubeBuddy really hard, I'm not sponsored, however it is an affiliate link, you do not have to use it, you can search for TubeBuddy on Google if you want, it's just that TubeBuddy is so powerful and I really need you to take a look at it, because it will make you grow faster and you can check it, most big YouTubers are using it for the bulk processing tools and the A-B tests and a whole bunch of other features, just check it out, use my link, don't use my link, I don't care make sure you check it out. And something else you should check out is my guide on growing a gaming channel 
on YouTube in 2020. It's part of the YouTube for Gamers playlist and there is a lot of helpful information in there. If you have any more question on this topic or anything else, join our TVN community Discord. Please like this video to help me rank higher in the algorithm and I will see you in that video. Have a good day.